Hello everyone, Ilya Marchenko here, your favorite tennis YouTuber. But apart from YouTube and tennis, I'm also a Ukrainian citizen. It's two weeks now since the beginning of the official Russian invasion. They are bombing our cities and killing our people. Almost 2 million refugees have left Ukraine, hiding from this terrible war. Mostly women and children. Today I want to use my platform to reach out for help from my tennis family. I'm not going to ask you to donate to our army or for aid fund. These are widespread options and if you wanted to do it, I believe you would have done it already. Today my request will be solely within the tennis frame. Many kids dream about becoming a tennis pro one day, to travel around the world, compete on the biggest stages and to win the most prestigious trophies. Those kids are among Ukrainian refugees as well. But unfortunately, during these hard times, they can't pursue their dream. Ukraine was never a rich country to begin with, so their ability to pay is quite limited. And on top of that, there are more important things to spend their money on right now, like food and roof over their head. So we are looking for academies and tennis clubs who will be able to host these young athletes. Ukrainian Tennis Federation has created a telegram group for these players. And at the moment, there are already more than 700 members. If you have an academy or able to help, please reach me out with the email on your screens, with the basic info on what you can provide, amount of players you are able to host, preferable age and level, accommodation options for them and their family members, and food. It doesn't have to be completely free, but big discounts and transparency is highly appreciated. There were already unpleasant situations when people try to introduce hidden fees upon arrival. Let's be human before businessmen. Don't overpromise and underdeliver. And keep in mind, although we hope for the best, this war and road to our victory might be long. I left my home in 2014 with only two bags like I usually pack for a couple of tournaments and to this day I have never went back. So be realistic and think about yourself and your family first. I will pass all your options and suggestions further to the UTF or to the Ukrainian Tennis Academies I'm in contact with. If you've sent your proposals to Ukrainian Tennis Federation already, there is no need to double them with me, as we work hand in hand on this. Big thanks in advance to anyone who tries to help, Ukrainian tennis community and I personally, we will never forget this.